Hi everyone, I'm Scarlett Bowman and I play Maddie Morrison. And I'm Jasmine Franks and I play Esther Blue. There's not necessarily one reason why Maddie picks on Esther. I think a lot of it's to do with control and how manipulative Maddie is. She's basically likes to sort of be the puppeteer and control everyone and by victimising one individual will make her more superior almost to everybody else. Do you think maybe also because everyone else, when you say jump, everyone says how high, but with Esther it was always, like I always, Esther always says to Ruby, oh don't go and do that, just because Maddie's doing it doesn't mean you have to do it. I also think she thinks that other people think it's cool to be a bitch. Mm. Like it's cool to be bossy and be, have all this power and control. But as you grow up, it's really not cool at all. Why do you think Esther never sort of asks for help? Um, she doesn't ask for help because of everything that's going on in her home life. Um, Jack has a heart attack, Darren, Darren and Nancy um, having a premature baby, the miscarriage, just everything's going wrong for the Osbournes at the moment. Do you know what I reckon as well is that I think Esther thinks that she can handle it. Oh herself. yeah, yeah, yeah. She gives off quite a few signals towards Frankie and to Jack that something's wrong, but they just think that she's going through like... You're a tough cookie. Yeah, the teenage stage, having a bit of an attitude, not wanting to go to college, thinking I'm cool, but really deep down there's something going on. And they're just missing that because they're so involved with this, their home life at the moment. Yeah. So, um, and you quite you mask everything up, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I think Esther puts on this front that I'm fine, I can handle it. And then when she goes home and she's on her own in a bedroom, she she knows she can't. She's heartbroken. But um, I think she is. She's such a confident character that it's such a shame to see someone come and just pick away at her constantly. And it's heartbreaking for me to play her. Yeah, it took its toll, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it, it has taken its toll because I've gone from playing someone who's so sure of herself. She came in um, as a lesbian, was was confident in that. She didn't need to tell someone she was a lesbian. She never, people always used to say sly little comments. Um, if you kiss a boy, will it, will it turn you straight? That kind of thing. And she was like, no, because I'm a lesbian. She was so sure of that. Who she is as well. Yeah. And Maddie's come and just rocked the boat. And she won she knew what she wanted to do and like she yeah. went to London. She'd come back from London, she came to Abbasock from London, so confident with a new hairstyle, thinking she looked amazing. And as soon as she gets there, you're at a picnic and you're there like a seagull uh, uh, at uh. the sandwiches, picking kids yeah. away. Cyberbullying's the easiest type of bullying. It's like the coward's way out because no one can see you sat on your own behind your computer calling someone a name. I wish you could have a, a thing on Twitter where if you punch a screen, the next time that person goes on Twitter, Smash the, the fist comes out of their screen and punches them in the face. It's quite aggressive. Yeah. Am <laughs> I bully? <laughs> Should we swap roles for a day? Should we do a mock scene where you can be Maddie and I'm going to be Esther? No, Kay. I don't want to Ready? be a bully. I'm too nice to be a bully. What's happening? Oh. <laughs> <laughs>